Welcome back everyone to Let's Play A Legionary's Life, episode number 5, 6, I don't remember, but it's been uh, probably a week since my last recording, um, but that's a good thing because I've had plenty of time to pour through all the comments, and there have been many of them, providing very good advice for me on how to do things a little bit better. I think the most important thing that I learned, at least the thing which I think will impact me the most, is uh, that attacks on your uh, character, or I should say the any character, so the enemy character as well, um, the legs and the arms amounts to fatigue increase uh, equal to the number of hit points damage you deal. So if we want to get into a fatigue type game, and I think that's also been suggested by me, to me by several people, um, uh, I think Jean is one of them, uh, there's some other people, I'm not going to remember all the names, but I know Jean was very active in trying to provide advice. So we're going to try to put these things into play. Now, um, one of the things that another byproduct of the comment system is to make sure my morale is high. People are getting this experience that higher morale actually does have uh, pretty big dividends um, in the actual combat. So, um, why do I have fixed costs? I mean, maybe this is just, eh, doesn't matter. So we're going to use some of our money as well because people really want me to buy something, <laughs> which is very fair. We have 241. I'm not going to buy things right away. We're going to start off with our usual training. I want to refresh myself on what my character is like. So awareness is a little bit low. I mean, we can't worry about these three anyway because we can't influence them. Uh, coordination, quickness. Quickness looks like it's something we could get up. I think coordination is really important. So let's try to get coordination up. Um, we will do that. Now, we can only train. I See, I forget all these break points. I think 30... Was it 40, 38 was it? I don't remember exactly where the limit is for training skills up with solo practice. We probably have to use sparring. Um, and I, I think I want to go more on the shields. But before we do that, let's do our workouts for coordination. We got strength, of course. <laughs> so it's just funny that that happens because previously I was always worried about getting more strength. Oh, that's constitution anyway. I was doing the wrong one. Okay, as soon as I fail one, I'm going to go to the other one. Try this. All right, let's go back over here. Okay, throw another life. Tonight you dream about a vaguely familiar place. You are surrounded by all grove and smoke is rising from a large city on the horizon. Close to your left, a path leads down where exactly you can't say. We can either take the path or we can move towards the city. This is a tough decision. We don't have any context for it. I remembered this one before, but Anyways, so you're surrounded by an olive grove, and smoke is rising from a large city. So we want to stay. Let's take the path. Uh, at the bottom of the find yourself walking along the beach. Strange to see is a few thousand paces away from the grove. This is what you think as you move towards the water. Suddenly, you rise up into the air. You fly over the waves in the open sea, further and further away from the coast. You lose track of time as you're carried by the winds. You have neither the control over your direction nor any idea of where you're going. Finally, you see an archipelago below and another enormous island beneath it, or next to it. Hundreds of ships are attacking each other. Countless death cries reach you, much closer than they should be, while huge vessels sink beneath the waves. You wake up puzzled as the significance of your weird dream. Slowly you fall asleep once more. Tomorrow will be a tough day like any other since you got drafted. So we failed the, intellect, uh, the intelligence check for whatever that was. Perhaps it was a boost in morale. We'll never know. Nonetheless, another thing that people suggested, or somebody suggested, I forget, is that you can take extra p patrols to get um, the opinion up. And I think we'll do this as well. Oh, well, that doesn't help us much. I'd rather gamble. <laughs> uh, we gain two. Nah, this is much better. We got basically the same thing. Uh, let's go back to this workout. Coordination. That's all I want. Okay, you're having a chat with Gavius, a Samnite auxiliary of the Pentry tribe. We passed some intelligence check. His people and yours used to be sworn enemies, with the last war ending not even a century ago. Now they are trusted allies. Okay. Now they're trusted allies, but they were enemies. We didn't pass some intelligence checks, so I'm not sure if this information was given to us specifically because of the check. Gavius has been telling you about his home, so close to where the war against Hannibal is at its worst. You can't help thinking of your home. Um, we can either be homesick or imperturbable. I think imperturbable, because this seems like a morale penalty. Huh. Your will is not strong enough, no matter... <laughs> so we failed anyway. No matter how much self-possessed you pretend to be, you miss your home and your family. Fine, fine. The game saw right through me. 
our endurance increase. But hey, endurance, if I'm going for this uh, long-term endurance type victory, honestly, endurance is what I need. I do not actually want quickness as much. That sounds weird, right? But the thing is, your chance to roll two dice in a row is based on, I mean, to get two hits in a row is based on quickness and morale, as far as I know. And the problem with that is that I think sometimes you don't want to act multiple times. So here, I don't know if we can, we don't look at it. So this section action is where it should be telling us about morale. So we have a 7% chance of having no action and a 5.5% chance of a second action. Let's just look, we will eventually buy new equipment by the way, but let's just look right now and see 5.5, 6.9, 55 and 69. Let's see if those change while we get worse morale. <clears throat> so far, not bad though. Lost two denarii, but our troop opinion. Let's try the train again. Let's try this one. Ah, we did it! We have only a small chance of success. Okay, that's good to know. <clears throat> so we'll have to uh, half our time. I want to try to gamble enough to get money before we end up. Okay, let's try this. Maybe try a run. Endurance, good. I'm glad I got endurance. Swim. Coordination, yes. Okay, morale went down by one. And we got paid. Let's find out what our... Sorry. Inventory. 55 and 69. Hasn't changed based on just one tiny morale change. So maybe that's, maybe that's just not enough to really look at. Let's try this. Okay, we lost morale again. Let's go to training. Ah, it worked again. I think we got pretty lucky there. Uh, morale is still good. Play another board game. We lost. <laughs> Come on, win some money. Oh god, all our money's going away. Play the dice. We gained one. Um, let's go ahead and buy equipment now. <clears throat> so we're gonna search. Okay. Now uh, this is very important. Handiness. Let's compare this. We have 51, this is 57, 4 to 15. I mean, this is much, much better. And I don't think it even costs that much. So this is absolutely a buy if we don't find anything else. And it looks like we don't. So let's buy this. And we'll equip it. We're going to sell the old one, but we'll do that eventually. Uh, a Sinu cap actually provides, in my opinion, better protection because of the higher percentages. Let's compare. So basically, the amount of protection it gives is less. 50 and, uh, so it's 11 and 37 versus 9 and 24. However, uh, the awareness penalty is zero, which is nice, and the amount of cover is higher. Neck doesn't matter, it's basically zero cover. For, I treat it as like zero cover for the neck, but for the head, it's higher. So we have a higher chance of getting some damage protection. Um, so the lack of awareness penalty is also, in my opinion, pretty important, but maybe it's not worth even spending eight gold on. One of the things we really want, ideally, is better mail definitely do not have the money for it. And this is why I don't like buying equipment. By the way, I mean, just so people know, this is what has kept me from buying equipment very often is because it takes a lot of, it takes a, an event of time. I don't know how many things you have here, probably 20 or so. So it's 5% of your time is spent looking for equipment. And then if you just buy one thing or God forbid, you don't buy anything, you wasted that time. Now that's not really fair because we spent time gambling or whatever. And all those, some of those single time events, we lost a single denarii and nothing else happened. So, <laughs> you know, it's not really uh, that fair for comparison. Now, so something like this, which would be very, very protective. The awareness penalty to me, I, I just dislike it a lot. Now, obviously this would be, this would be like great protection for our head and, and even some, uh, like a significant amount for our, our neck. But I dislike the for awareness. There are some checks which involve awareness and I don't know, it's just really hard for me to get around that. Uh, awareness penalty of six, are you kidding me? That's, I mean, sure, 90% protective, but pff, I, I would never, I would never buy this helmet. But now the main reason why we should be saving up for torso armor is because this covers torso and groin. I mean, this is just short term, man. The long one actually covers your legs as well. Has huge damage protection, and the best thing about it, it inquire, it, you acquire no penalties from it, no penalties. So it's only a positive to get the chainmail. Okay, so for now, what we could do is if we wanted to buy this to increase our... I think I will try it out. Uh, well, at, le at least, if nothing else, I'm probably going to provoke a whole swarm of comments. <laughs> but let's just... let's buy. It's only 8. Let's buy it and equip it. And I'm also going to go back and sell my old sword, which I don't think that there's any value in keeping. 
Um, I will keep my old helmet because it, it may be valuable. And there's nothing else. Okay. So basically this... The, <laughs> not a whole lot of buying and selling really happened in the end. And we can't afford any of the interesting stuff. I mean, we could afford a better helmet. But awareness penalty of four is just... Even the awareness penalty of four just seems like way too much to me. Uh, and we may acquire a better helmet in the end um, without having to to buy it even. So let me go back to work. Well, let's go to training. Okay. I really was hoping to do this. Let's go over to inventory now. 55. Yeah, so morale is not having any impact on this thus far. That doesn't, that's not to say it doesn't, but, okay, we still have a little bit of time left. Let's go to this, endurance increase, that's good, let's try it again. Let's go back over here, try this. Uh, still failed. I think we should go do our offer sacrifice, just to give us that little morale kick right before going into combat. And what do we do, what are our skills at right now? 40 and 40. Look, I'm happy with that, but I could really use some... Come on! Ah, didn't happen. Okay, time to move on. It's been over a year since the capture of New Carthage. Carthaginians have failed to respond properly, hindered by rivalries and lack of cooperation amongst their generals. After winter came and went, Proconsul Scipio set you on the move once again, marching against the closest enemy army. Led by Hasdrubal Barca, one of Hannibal's brothers, the Carthaginians are holding a high two-step plateau near the, ba the town of Bakula. A fine defensive position indeed. Dislodging them from where from there looks like a rather hopeless task, but the proconsul must know what is clear to everyone. The longer you'll stay here waiting, the higher the risk that the remaining two our enemy armies will come and crush you. So we have Hymer. I, I feel really good about this, um, especially with our newfound knowledge extracted from the generous contributors in the comments. Thank you again. So our new plan is... Uh, it's not to faint as much. It's more to play the defensive game at the cost of morale. The ways, I mean, we're still going to be fainting, but we're just going to try to play the endurance game. And if we see an attack on the limbs, we'll go for that in order to induce uh, fatigue. Now, this is mostly in a combat which we expect will last for a long time. If it's a shorter combat against a stronger enemy, we'll probably be using feints and things just to keep them on the defensive. Uh, we'll see how that works. The weight is nerve-wracking, and at last comes the dreaded order that the assault begins. Apparently, your skirmishers, the Deltes, will have to engage the enemy light infantry, holding them in the lower, holding the lower plateau. Pick two units of heavy infantry are ordered to support them. That's certainly an unenviable task. With relief, you learn that your mana pole will be kept in reserve. The frontal assault is underway with when Proconsul Scipio himself takes the lead of half the remaining forces. Or force. As the Carthaginians are busy repelling your soldiers, he leads you around their position. You are climbing the slope at a fast pace when a small group of Numidian cavalrymen approaches and starts harassing you with their javelins. The terrain is far from propitious for a cavalry attack, but they keep pressing you. Now, my cavalry skill, my javelin skill is just terrible, so we're going to keep marching. Undisturbed, one of them throws a javelin straight at you. Uh, the missile glances off your shield. Very good. So I'm really happy to see that. At last, they recall their attack and right away. Endurance, hooray! As you fight, as you reach the plateau, you shake off the weirdness and prepare for the fight. Very good. It looks like Hasdrubal has sent reinforcements to his first line, but they are only partially deployed and clearly not expecting you. You charge the nearest group into the flank. Good. All right. Into the combat once once again. When the other side is at the right difference, distance, we, har we, we should just <laughs> hope not to fail, basically. All right. Um... Yeah, so we do need to be careful about this. It was mentioned that you could just do this all the way, but it's possible for you to miss this first one uh, so badly that they actually attack you first. And this is also dependent on their quickness, and this guy's quickness is pretty high, which is why I'm just going to close in. Oh, I forgot about this music. Yeah, so he went after... I didn't even launch my uh, javelin, and he went at me first. So even though I didn't launch my javelin, it was very good that I went to a defensive position. So let's take a look at our new options here. Arm and leg are both are both very hard to hit. He has no armor. Okay, so he has no armor on the torso even. But note that the torso, while giving more damage and also giving um, uh, you know better chance to hit, will not 
in, actually affect their fatigue. Now, I don't think that fatigue is going to be important in this. This is not a 1v1 fight to the death where fatigue is going to matter more. So I think we're going to go with our original strategy, which is faint. Perfect. And we actually uh, <clears throat> skipped our own turn. We had a dot, 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 which means we skipped our turn, I guess, or something happened. But we're just going to go and try to lower it. Well, let's, let's take a look at the attack. We could actually start hitting him. This is a very low percentage, 60%, let's say. Um, I will take the 70% chance and succeed. So he did succeed. Oh, he recovered 40. That's pretty good. But this is, again, I'm still okay with this uh, back and forth because I don't think fatigue is going to matter very much. And we're, we've gotten, we've done very well so far. 75% chance for that, but we might actually begin to, and it looks like we can start attacking. Boy, this guy must have very good defensive skills. Yeah, he does. Because our uh, chance of success is actually still not very high. Um, let's just go for the torso, which seems like a sure thing. Of course. Well, it wasn't a sure thing. It was a 75% chance. Good lord, he got three turns in a row. <laughs> Alright, let's go back on the defensive and recover. Now, this character has, like, incredibly high constitution. So, we don't have to worry too much about taking even a few hits. Good. We were waiting for that to happen. We'll respond. We could, if we want, recover. Actually, I'm not, I'm surprised it's not a free recovery, but we'll go for the 50% chance to faint. We're not expecting, basically, okay, so we'll go for the recover here. He'll recover. I know that it, oh, he didn't, because he got unlucky. Uh, I know that we could, like, it was only nothing we were recovering, very little, like maybe 5% or something, but I just want to take the, the easy way, you know. The... the, the safe route. Why lose another character? <laughs> it takes so long to get the character this far. <laughs> let's let's not waste him. Okay, finally got that. He did recover, but we'll just play this game. Because again, this game is not one that we can lose from a, like a health standpoint. I could try to fatigue him. Maybe we'll give this a try. Let's try to hit him in the arm. See what happens. And we, we missed. <laughs> of course. Um, let's try to hit him in the arm again. That's ah, below 50% chance, but you can't miss two coin tosses in a row, can you? Let's just recover. Let's do the right thing. I'm going to recover with full on because he's going to get a free recovery in, so he's not going to attack me. And we'll go for this again. There it is. And he got two turn. Man, this guy's really working it. All right, let's go um, for respite. And that was the last thing. Okay. Fair enough. So we didn't really do anything. Attack from all sides. The Carthaginian line is collapsing. We're just like a normal unit out there. We're not like this great fighter who's gonna... Or even we don't have the aggressive instincts to be like a, an, a very, well, aggressive fighter who's gonna bring home the kill. I'm just gonna hold the line and do my job. Many are taken prison, prisoner. But in the meantime, the bulk of Hasdrubal's force manages to escape. At last, you were ordered to plunder the enemy camp. You set to the task with renewed enthusiasm, where morale has increased by five. Very good. So our morale is extremely high, which is great. Um, by the way, this has maybe had an impact. It was 57 and 69, 55 and 69 before. So second action has gone up. No action has gone down. So it probably there's like tiers where morale has an effect, but I don't see it affecting it very much. And unfortunately, it does not have a modifier. It does not tell us anything about the modifier here. Okay, but we're in great shape going into the next the next part of this. The enemy camp is a bit of a disappointment. It looks like the Carthaginians were able to take most of their valuables with them when they retreated. Uh, so we can either split up and search some of the tents or stay with a larger group. Let's split up. We are apparently empty tent with Nasidius, a stout, short stout soldier with a permanent smirk. Start searching. After a while, your companion finds a finely crafted bracelet. Clearly, he intends to hand it over to the Legion. Now, I've never done this option before, but let's propose to keep it for ourselves and sell it later. Okay, he is hesitant at first, but the smirk returns as he slowly nods. Okay, hooray! <laughs> we got 121. There's a little more you can accomplish. So, virtue, in general, I want to do high virtue character, but 
I don't, I don't know. Does it really matter? <laughs> I haven't seen how virtue really plays into the game. It just forces your character to do bad things if it's too low, and I have gotten to that point. Let's continue. Hasdrubal is heading north, intent on crossing the Pyrenees with the remembrance of Zarmi. The Proconsul refused to pursue him, and many of the troops are frustrated with this decision. So this is historical. We're actually reading about history. Hasdrubal does try to join the army in, in uh, Italy. The Carthaginians you capture are sold into slavery, and the revenue is shared among the troops. Scipio orders the uh, Celtiberian prisoners to be released. These are the Celts. This will help secure more alliances with the local tribes. So we gain 30 uh, denarii, which means it's uh, we're good. We're up to 366. We'll get paid more when this completes. <clears throat> oh, we're not. Okay, so here we are, on part three. You know, that was pretty good. So we didn't even take a hit. We have an enormous amount. Again, we have an enormous amount of constitution. The highest I've ever seen on uh, at least any of my characters. And I've definitely had uh, very good characters. Uh, <laughs> at least one very good character <laughs> that made it pretty far. So I think that the strength is still something I want to work on. And coordination and quickness. Okay, look at I guess I just want all these stats higher. Probably the most important thing is, though, training. Let's try to do this. I still want to trade my... S yeah my that okay let's do well first before i let's do a workout first coordination and endurance these are both i think ones that we could really benefit from endurance now we want to do this lost three okay gained one increased increase good that was good so that's what i wanted to see let's go back to sparring good very good that was fantastic um we can always do extra patrols this Intrude surge. So, what about extra guards? What else? What do I do in this? Yeah, that one's not that great. We'll wait to offer sacrifice since we can only do it once. Uh, we could also try to buy more equipment, but at 400, I don't think we yet have enough to buy mail, which is what I want to do next. I'm pretty happy with our equipment. We can never change our shield, and I don't do not recommend wearing greaves because it lowers your quickness. Anyway, let's go back to swimming, coordination, fantastic. Let's run, endurance, perfect. Let's train again. Okay, ah, our shield did increase, that was good. Uh, let's go back to workouts and coordination. Ah, very good, let's take a break. We did receive some money, um, that was good. Let's go on an extra patrol. Random encounter, okay, good. I'm actually happy about this. Your group bumps into a party of Ketrati. As they close in on you, they get ready to throw their iron javelins. We can either forget our javelin and protect ourselves. Well, let's forget. Our defense is much higher um, than our javelin, so. Ah, well. Decreased by five is not that bad. This guy is moderately quick, has good coordination. I think we're going to do well against him. Looks like our weapon skills are about equal, but his defense is very low. So, that's <clears throat> that's a good thing. Well, let's throw our javelin this time. Oh, we did. We hit it. Good. So he still went first. He succeeded. We'll go full defensive and recover. Good. Failed on his deft feint. Let's go ahead and move to normal <clears throat> attitude and try feint. So this is a one-on-one. -on -one. This is exactly the time where I think we should be trying to do these uh, fatigue attacks. And we have a because his defense is so low, uh, we have a good chance of doing damage. Let's try to do the arm. Look at that. It worked. Got six. He missed his opportunity to go again, so we'll just attack his arm again. Got another three. We got another double turn. <laughs> Don't think the chances of that happening this many times are very good, but, you know, we might as well, I think, roll the dice here because of his fatigue and all that. Let's go for a normal feint. It succeeded. His recovery failed. So now we can... Let's even go for his... We probably could just go for the kill here. Yeah, because look at his groin. Uh, yeah, his groin is going to give us 1.2 and do a lot of damage. We're almost sure to hit him. He costs 3. So it's swinging. It's kind of weird that a feint costs more than a attack in terms of... I want to see if it talks about here. Okay, leg. Yeah, success here. Health damage times 0.7 by 120%. Arm is, yeah, so leg is much more important. You do more damage, first of all, and your fatigue, the fatigue does much more. 
Okay, good. Let's just keep attacking his leg. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. And this should basically be a death spiral. As soon as we get him beyond uh, the fatigue, he failed. Look at that. He's into the next thing, which is going to make attacking him even easier. Of course, we missed. That's fine. I think we'll recover, which will be a free recover for him. He got to go twice. That's just a little bit unfortunate, but I think that's still okay. We can go and just do respite at full defense. He might do respite? No. He's stupid. He did not. Now we want to make sure that we faint. Look at that. I mean, the percentage of, of chance of success is so good. I think we should just go for the leg here. Two-thirds chance to succeed. Well, we got unlucky. Okay, full defensive and recover. Okay, he did this. It's just going to make his fatigue worse. We could do respite even, but I think we're okay to do a normal feint. Ah! Well, got a little bit lucky there. Let's, by the way, take a look at... Eh, it's just not very good. So let's, again, focus on this. Ah, no! We want to kill this guy. <laughs> Should we go for it? Three quarters chance. Got him! We did it! We're not terrible! We're a good fighter now! <laughs> I think this is exactly the same. It is not quite. It's a little bit worse. So we don't want to do that. But we do. We will take it. We can sell it. And we got 21 denarii. So, good. This is fine. Uh, that was great, actually. First of all, it was great because we did get a little bit of money, and uh, unfortunately, our character will lose 5 morale recovering. His little bit of health that he's missing, I think it will cause us 5 morale. But we got 3 morale for the kill, and we got 21 denarii. I think overall, it's a, it's a good exchange. But most importantly, the thing I didn't say, but that I think is most important, is we got to put this into effect. We got to try out this new system, and I'm really happy. Unfortunately, you know, you really would have to... It was in the game the whole time, right? We could have just hovered our cursor over arm or leg at any point in time and realized it was different than head, neck, groin. In fact, maybe one of those other ones does something else that I'm not aware of. I'm pretty sure what I've done is rest the cursor over torso, seeing that it does whatever the modifier, 1.0, whatever. Probably even rested it on another one to read it, but neither of those... But the other one wasn't the um, leg or arm, so I never saw this fatigue notification so just you know you if you look into the details or read the manual we'd probably be <laughs> in better shape regardless let's go back to training uh, uh morale oh yeah that was the morale hit yeah i don't think we're good enough oh, whatever epidius is boasting about his wrestling skills like he usually does he asks if there's anyone who'd like to take challenge him he is no taller than average but he's built like a boar what is our character <laughs> I have never succeeded in this, which means I think a morale penalty and a troop's opinion decrease. Yeah, we're not intelligence enough. I don't think... It's really... Our constitution is the one thing that we have going for us, but it's not strength. Okay, yeah, I think that was fine. So it doesn't seem like we can get any benefit, but so we need to make friends with people, basically. Okay, that's good. That's good. You have to leave your marching column to answer the call of nature. Uh, even with the column so close, you don't feel comfortable being here alone. Unfortunately, nothing happens. Okay, we didn't have the awareness, but I don't know what caused or what happened. You are on your group, trying not to think about the long distance still to go. Okay. So what's our money at? 450 Several people did request that I buy new equipment, so I, I may consider shopping by with 450. The thing is, we do have one thing we can sell. I don't think it's worth very much, though. We could probably, I mean, if it was in a pinch, we could sell both of these for like 10, maybe. Not a whole lot. We could also sell the armor we're wearing if we're able to buy new ones. So that would be 455. Let's call it 480. I don't think that's enough to buy good stuff, but. I mean, maybe if we get lucky. Anyway, let's focus on this. Coordination, very good. Let's try to train. Good, shield went up. So our, our shield is a, a really important to me because I feel like... Um, 
what do I feel like? I feel like our situ our um we're gonna be better off counterattacking, which means defense is really important. <laughs> Anyways, I'll set this. Yeah, I was losing a bit of morale here. We have very little time left, so now at this point we probably have to do our offer sacrifice. Um, morale increased by four. Part of your mind wonders if this is really going to affect anything. Oh boy, that was that was the intelligence roll failing, I guess. So our, if your intelligence is too high, you don't get much morale from that. That's unfortunate. So we can either do buy sell for what is probably our last action. We only have 415 because we just spent all that money at the temple. Uh, I think we'll wait one more. I think we're going to wait it out. So let's do this. Let's train. Ah, that was really worth it. Let's try it one more time. Yes, very good. I think that was worth it. I think that was worth it. We're in good we're in good status morale wise. We got a little bit of extra skill, which I think is very important. When your third spring in this land is so far away from home comes in this land so far away from home comes, Rome is in control of most of eastern Hispania. Your progress has been admirable, but the war is still far from over. The departure of Hasbro Barca and the remnants of his army brought some relief, but the Carthaginians have not been sitting around this time. According to the latest reports from the West, a new general named Hanno is raising an army, recruiting Celtic Barbarian volunteers after bringing reinforcements from his homeland. Your legion is attached to a 10,000 strong army under the orders of M. Solanus, one of Scipio's legates, or legates, and sent west to cope with this new threat. Okay, so let's, um, it's 31 minutes here. We've done very well. I think that uh, basically this has been a very good episode. So let's save it here and we'll come back to actually do this campaign in Hispania. This is, I guess this is part four. Is it? Maybe. We'll do that in the next episode. So for now, thanks for all the comments that you've provided, um, for all the help I've been, like, all the advice on the game. And until the next episode, thanks for watching and take care.